So we're beginning the year 9 topic, um, the very first topic for the year, integers, patterns, and graphs. And I'm going to call this unit 0 really because integers is kind of just revision. Um, I just want to make sure we're remembering how to deal with positive and negative numbers. So that's, I guess, the basics of it. Integers just means numbers that include positive and negative. So in a sense, if you remember what your number line is look like, you've got the negative numbers down here, like negative 11. And as we move up the number line, negative 4, 3, negative 1, 0, and then we start to get into the bigger na positive numbers here, so 3, and then 8, and then back to 11 on this end. So we've got all the negative numbers down here and all the positive numbers moving in that direction. And what you'll notice about the negative, or the number line, is that the further to the left you are, the more negative you are, and you can think of that as a really tiny number if you want. It's a, it's more to the negative direction. And as we move into the right, it becomes slightly less negative. So for instance, negative 10 is more negative than negative 5 because we're moving closer to 0. And really what these are telling us is that negative 5, the important thing to remember, is that it's a distance of 5 from 0. And negative 10 is a distance of 10 on the number line from 0, which is actually the same for 5, still a distance of 5 on the positive side, and positive 10 is similar to the negative 10, it's a distance of 10 from 0 onto the right side. So you could also think about that, that the negatives just tell you to go to the left, and the positives tell you to go to the right, but they're both giving you an idea of how far away from 0 you are. So as we move up the number line, we get to what I'm going to call less positive numbers. They're positive, but they're smaller in a sense, because we can keep going, we can keep going up to big, big, big positive numbers that are more positive, further away from the 0, further to the right of the 0. So an important skill for us is to be able to figure out uh, which number is bigger, and sometimes we show that with inequalities. And inequalities are these funny little things that you're used to seeing that look like little crocodile mouths, um, guys like this. And we can use them to talk about um, a shorthand, really, so we don't have to write out the words less than or less than and equal to. But let's go through some examples of what these actually might look like. So if I wanted to know which number was bigger or smaller between negative 3 and 5, I'm going to think about going towards the smaller number, which again is always going to be in the negative direction, so the number that's furthest to the left. So these are all the small guys down here on this end of the number line, and these are going to be all the big ones up here on that end of the number line. So if we think about this, where's negative 3? That's all the way down here and 5 is here, and we'll notice that 5 is actually a positive number, so it's automatically going to be bigger than the negative number. And to use the inequalities, we need to figure out a trick for ourselves, which is that the pointy end always points to the smaller number, and the opened end always points to the big number. So as an example for us, this end is always going to be pointing to the smaller number, and the big mouth on the sign is always going to point to the big number. And that can be the other way around as well. You can write the big number first, change the direction of the inequality sign, and then write the small number on the other side. So here we've seen that negative 3 is smaller than 5, or less than 5, so we can put in that sign there. Um, going for another example, between, let's say, 2 and 7. So which number is bigger between 2 and 7? Well, they're both positive, so that should hopefully be rather straightforward to see, that 2 we don't come across first, so it's smaller than the number 7. So, in fact, again, the inequality sign points towards the 2 and is open towards the 7. So this says 2 is less than 7. How about looking at the negatives? And we will go negative 5 
and negative 8. And I want you to think about which of these numbers is bigger and which of these numbers is smaller so we can get the direction of the sign correct. And don't be confused by the negative sign. Notice that they're both negative, so don't just get carried away by thinking, oh, 8's a bigger number, it must be bigger. Think about where these go on the number line. So if we start at 0 and we move down it towards the smaller numbers, the first one will come across as the negative 5. And then if we keep getting smaller, we will get to the negative 8. So we will notice this time, actually, the negative 8 is the smaller number. So the big end will point towards the negative 5, and the little end, the pointy end, will point towards the negative 8. And doing one more example, let's look at about um, negative 10 and negative 3. So, noticing again that they're both negative, so we both know they're to the left on the scale. And coming down from 0, which is going to take us from bigger numbers down to smaller numbers, which number do we come across first? We actually come across the negative 3 first, so it is bigger, in fact, than negative 10. So the negative 3 gets the big end of the sign, and the pointy end will point towards the small negative 10. And so that's part of how we can use a shorthand. Instead of writing, again, less than or greater than, we can just use that little arrow to point always towards a smaller number. And just to point this one out for you as well, these signs here, when they have a line underneath them, mean less than or greater to, or sorry, less than or equal to, and this one here will mean greater than or equal to. So you could write an expression like this, um, 2 and 2. 2 and 2, well 2 is not less than 2, but it is equal to 2, so that's okay because we're saying this number could be less than or equal to that number. But you'll usually see these sort of setups, these sort of or equal to's in more algebra type problems.